everything in life is getting faster. We have to be more efficient at work and things are constantly changing. Our brains are overstimulated almost throughout the whole day. And if we have some time for ourselves, we often use it to watch Netflix, scroll through social media or play some games. Most likely because we don't like to do boring things like cleaning, studying or working on side hustles. What if I tell you that a dopamine detox can reset your brain to like doing those boring things? Would you be interested? Good. This video is the right choice for you. First of all, what is dopamine? Dopamine is a chemical messenger between our brain cells. It basically makes us feel pleasured. Dopamine helps us to strive, focus and find things interesting. It affects our motivation, our mood, the way we are learning and many more. For example, by winning a new smartphone in lottery, high amounts of dopamine are released because we instantly got a reward without working for it. It can be concluded that we like winning things. But if we have to work and clean the house, only a low amount of dopamine is released. That's because we have to work for it and we don't get an instant reward. It can be concluded that we don't like cleaning. If you are still not convinced from the great influence of dopamine, let me show you an interesting experiment. Researchers linked the brain of a mouse to electrodes. After that, they placed a button next to the mouse. Every time she pressed that button, the researchers stimulated her brain reward system. The mouse built a craving for pushing that button. She even stopped drinking and eating. She pushed the button until she collapsed from exhaustion. After that, the researchers reversed the experiment. They blocked the brain reward system of a mouse completely. As a result, the mouse became so tired, she didn't even want to get up to drink something. The mouse had no desire to do anything at all. She still ate something if the researchers placed it directly in her mouth. The mouse just had no motivation at all to go and get food for herself. This experiment shows that dopamine plays an important role in the matter of motivation. How does dopamine affect our daily life? Our brains release sometimes less, sometimes more dopamine throughout the day. It depends on what we are doing. If you had the decision, would you either lay down on the couch watching Netflix or would you sit on a chair and read a book about science? Most of us would prefer the first option. Same thing in our everyday life. We make decisions throughout the whole day. Most of the time, we choose the activity that releases more dopamine. Instead of learning, we are scrolling through the internet. Instead of working, we watch TV. Instead of cleaning, we play computer games. I think you get the point here. Dopamine affects our behavior all the time. If your dopamine levels are high because of too much stimulation, it's really hard for you to take care of things that release little amounts of dopamine. Those things will get you bored really fast and you won't concentrate for a long time to handle those things. Which brings us to the point of a dopamine detox. So what is a dopamine detox and why should I do it? Quick disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. If you have problems with cigarettes or other types of drugs, please search for professional help. I don't want you to suffer from any bad withdrawal symptoms or something else. Professionals will know how to help you. Okay, let's go. At a dopamine detox, you basically try not to stimulate your dopamine release for a whole day. The goal here is to hold your dopamine levels as low as possible. This way, you can reset your brain to a lower normal dopamine level. Choose one day of the week to execute the dopamine detox. On that day, you have to live, for example, without your smartphone, a coffee, the internet, sexual activities, video games or even music. You have to cut everything that stimulates your dopamine release. Depending on which levels of dopamine you normally live, you maybe like reading a book or you hate it. If you like it, put it on a not to do list. If you hate it, you can use your dopamine detox day to start reading a book. Because of the low levels of dopamine on your detox day, reading a book will appear much more fun to you. So things you can do on your dopamine detox day really depend on your current situation. But here are some examples. You can read a book, go swimming, cook a dinner, meditate, clean or just go for a walk. 
Trust me, if you cut your high dopamine activities off, you will find something to do. A dopamine detox tricks your brain to like doing hard things. You intentionally block your brain from releasing high levels of dopamine and because of this, the little amounts of dopamine, which are released by activities like cleaning, will be much more fun to you. One day of dopamine detox per week will trick your brain to like doing hard things. But your dopamine levels are rising again if you choose to overstimulate yourself after that day. To be more productive for the whole week, you have to track your dopamine release. For better productivity, I recommend you to follow this guideline. For every hour you are productive, you get 50 minutes of high dopamine activities. For example, for every hour you are working on your new project, you can play 15 minutes of a video game in the evening. This is only a guideline, you can adjust it to your own preferences. Maybe 25 minutes of high dopamine activities for every working hour works better for you. Just use it as a reference point to build your own schedule out of it. In my opinion, a dopamine detox can help you to live a better balanced life. Don't forget to like the video. I hope it helps you to achieve a smarter living.